how to create a high quality documentation easily. Hi, in this video we are going to take a look at Bookstack, a powerful alternative to Gitbook for creating documentation. Whether you're a developer, designer, marketer or just looking for an easy way to share information, Bookstack is the perfect solution. With its user-friendly interface you can quickly create and publish your documentation, making it easy for your audience to access and understand. So if you need to create documentation for your projects, let's see how Bookstack can help you share your knowledge. At LS this is the tool we are using to write ours, so let's check how it works. Here is what our documentation looks like. You have shelves, which looks like big categories. Then inside each shelf you have a lot of books, that's why it's named Bookstack. And in each book you will have the chapters where you write your content. Okay, so let's see how to edit a chapter. You select one, like Overview. And here is the final result, but as I am an admin, I can hit edit. And you can see we have a WYSIWYG editor. Here you can see we have many options to edit it, writing directly here, but you can switch to the source code and do whatever you want. So here it's basic HTML, but you have the option to switch between Markdown editor or by default it's HTML. Other options you have are to set in the changelog, so you explain what you are doing and the other contributors will know what you changed. You can add tags to uh, the specific chapter or page. You also can add attachments, either in link directly or here. And you can define some pages as templates so the other creators will be able to reuse the same theme. Now let's go back before editing. We had other options to make on our chapter. So we can copy it, we can move it, we can see the revisions, so in the history of what everyone did, we can see what changed, we can restore, delete. It's very useful to not lose information. We also can edit the permissions, so if you need one particular person to talk about one topic, you can give this person access only on this uh, shelf or on this book or on this chapter. You can also, of course, delete it, add it to your favorite or export it like a PDF file. So let's say you want to do an offline documentation of your whole project, you can combine them to make a full documentation. Now let's have a look at the settings. So there are a lot of settings available out of the box. So you can define it, it's public. If it's not public, only your team will have access to it. You can define higher security image uploads and you can also enable or disable the comments below the articles. You have a lot of customization settings, the name it, it's written on the top here. You can define if you choose the HTML WYSIWYG editor or markdown, the logo, the colors, what you see when you arrive on the home page, add some footer links and even add some custom CSS so when you edit your content every time to look the same and you don't have to do it in each page. You can also allow users to register or not. For us, we didn't enable registration, it's invitation only. And you can also define registration, but only for a specific domain name. Inside the maintenance setting, you can see what you can recycle. You can also clean up image to make some space for deleted pages, which contains image that are not used anymore. You can send a test email to your account. Inside the audit log, you can see what everyone did. So who did what, modified what, when did they connect. You can also manage all your users. You can assign them different roles and you can fine tune the permissions. So if we try to create a new role, we can say exactly what they are able to do and to see. And you have the option to create webhooks on a lot of events. So you can integrate it with the software of your choice. Now let's see how to deploy your own instance easily with LSTO. To set up our own instance, let's go to ls.io, hit login. Now we deploy my first service. Let's search for Bookstack. Select. Let's keep the default settings. Hit next and create service. Now we should receive an email with our credentials to log in on our instance of Bookstack. Okay, so I just received an email with my instance credentials. Click here to get the password. Here we will click on copy password. 
we go to our instance. The email is our LSTO account email. I paste the password and you can see I have my own instance deployed and it's available. I just have to fill the content. Thanks for watching. I hope you will give a try to Bookstack for your next project. It's a very simple but powerful tool. A lot of great options are present to make our lives easier. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified when new episodes are released. See you soon, bye bye.